I'm going to show you how to create a scatter plot with a regression line, quite simply, using JASP. For this example, I'm going to be using the Dog Toys dataset. This dataset is available on the first tab of the Visualizing Variables Week 4 Excel spreadsheet. That spreadsheet can be found both in our class and in a link in the description for this video. Let's take a look at our data and I'll show you how to create that scatter plot. Here are the data plots in Microsoft Excel. You see that we have a list of dogs, there are 50 total. We have two scale variables, number of toys owned and number of days to failure. These are the two variables that we're going to use to create our scatter plot. We can't create scatter plots out of categorical variables. But of course, in order to be able to use this data in JASP, we're going to need to export it from Microsoft Excel and open it in JASP. Remember that JASP does not open Excel spreadsheets, but we can open a comma delimited file, also known as a CSV. To export our data from Microsoft Excel, we're going to need to go to File, Save As, and change our file format from an Excel workbook to a comma delimited file or CSV. I'm going to name this file Dog Toys, and I'm going to place it on the desktop. Now I click Save, and this data set will be saved to the desktop. Click OK to dismiss that warning. And there it is. Now I can open this CSV file using JASP. First of all, of course, you're going to have to open JASP. So use whatever technique you typically use to open a bit of software on your computer. I happen to have JASP loaded up in the dock for my computer, so I will click and wait for JASP to open. Once JASP is open, I'm going to open my CSV by clicking on the main menu, Open, Computer, Desktop. Here's my CSV file. Click once and click open. There are the data points that I'm going to need. And now I can show you how to create a scatter plot in JASP. The only trick about creating a scatter plot is knowing where to find the setting. Let's take a look at what our options are. Let's begin by remembering that a scatter plot is a first step for either correlation or regression. We don't have an option for correlation, but we do for regression. It's because correlation is a special form of the general linear model of regression, and so we're going to find our correlation settings right here under the regression tab. Click on correlation. Now we're going to move the variables that we need into the variables box. We have two. They will be toys owned and days to fail. I want to put them into the variables box in this order. That will put toys owned on the x-axis and days to fail on the y-axis. The initial results appear right here in the form of a correlation matrix. There is a correlation of 0.239 between these two variables. However, there's also a lot of blank and unused space in this correlation matrix. So when I'm teaching you about correlation, I always suggest that we use this option that says display pairwise to simplify that correlation output. It's not really necessary for creating the scatter plot, but I just like the way that it looks. To create our scatter plot, you've already guessed it. We go under plots and we click on scatter plot. And that scatter plot appears. It's a little bit out of sorts. I'm going to grab this handle and drag it around a little bit. It automatically resizes. And yeah, that scatter plot looks really good. If you created a scatter plot using Microsoft Excel, as I showed you in the last video, you can already appreciate how much easier it is to create something like a scatter plot using JASP. Because we will be using this dog toys dataset extensively throughout this course, 
it might be good to save a copy in the JASP format for future use. Let me show you how we're going to do that. I'm going to go back to my data set. I'm going to go to the main menu, click on Save As, and Computer, and Desktop. I'm going to save this as Dog Toys. It's already entered for me. And I'll save it to the desktop. Great. I'm going to minimize this. Now I see the original Dog Toys CSV that I opened and the new version, which is in JASP, which will keep both the original data points and any analysis that I do. And those are the basics for creating a scatter plot using JASP.